It's the all-access post-game show here on the Mustang Sports Network, powered by SFMSports.net. After Stevenson defeated Widener 10-5 in the MAC Commonwealth semifinals, now joined by Coach Kathy Raley. Coach, you were up against a goalie that was playing out of her mind today, and yes. they challenged you a little bit in the second half, got it back yeah. to three goals. Yeah. What did you do in order to pull away and make sure you held on? Well, you know, I, I think them getting it back to three goals, we shot ourselves in the foot with, with some yellow cards, and, and we can't do that. Um, you know, this next game coming up, if, if we're going to yellow card, by the time we're playing at this point in the season, these teams that we're playing are going to know how to score and take advantage of every single yellow card. So so we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about making sure that we're not the team that yellow cards so that we really feel that if our top seven people or, se or all seven defenders are in there, we're so hard to beat. You know, we're, we're holding some of the top teams in the conference and, and, and especially some of the top offensive output teams to so few goals. Yep. So why why limit ourselves in that and, and, and create a situation where we're going to be a 7v6 at this point in the season? So super, super duper proud of the defensive effort today. Well, and let's talk about that, and let's talk yeah. about Kirsten yeah. Foster, who you brought up here tonight. She had the assignment of, oh, just, you know, the... Like offensive player of the year. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. all, and didn't allow a single goal today. Can you tell me about what it is? First, why did Kirsten get that assignment, and can you talk to me about her effort? Yeah, she, Kirsten is so coachable, and and uh, I, I really figured that the way she plays defense and, and her quickness would really match up well with... with um, uh, number one from Widener. The second reason is, you know, Gabby did a great job on her, but Gabby is Gabby's size and strength uh, sometimes cause her to foul against an equally sized and strong attacker. So I thought if we took uh, Kirsten's really powerful, great one-on-one -on -one defense and combined it with a girl that's a little bit taller, that we would get a, a, a charge call, or we would be a little bit better at containing her in the 1v1. And, um, you know, I feel very, I'm, I'm super excited that that was exactly the case. And we had seen Kirsten do that against Lebanon Valley, against, um, I can't think of what the girl's name is, but they, they one of their top scores. <laughs> so, so I figured it would work again on this particular girl, and, and darn it if, it if it didn't work. And she, you know, for a freshman to take an assignment like that, and play with that kind of confidence. I mean, not only was she doing that, but she was coming out with the ground balls. She's coming out with garbage in front of the cage. She's forcing things that Matt can save, you know, not giving any close in looks or any, and knocking down feeds yep. because, it, because yep. this particular player is also good at making the feeds. So very, very proud of that effort. And it, although I have to say it doesn't surprise me at all. I love it. Yeah. Uh, championship game here yeah. at Mustang yeah. Stadium on yeah. Saturday. We'll wait, find out who it is. Coach, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. She is Coach Kathy Rayleigh.